What's up ghouls? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm so sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I'm nine days ago, it's not too bad. So just over a week ago was my last upload and I should be uploading twice a week. Um, so basically the biggest reason that I haven't been uploading is because I've been hella freaking busy. So I always say that and I'm always like, oh my god guys, I'm so sorry, I've been so busy, I'll be back. Um, but it's nothing compared to what my YouTube channel was like a year ago. So I have been busy with my aunt. Um, so my boyfriend's mum and nan came down on the... So I uploaded on the Saturday and they came down on the Wednesday, so I had a couple of days in between. Um, so they came down Wednesday evening and they stayed till Monday night. So that's just why I haven't been here. Also, I've had work and work experience, um, which I'm doing at uni. It's nothing hella exciting. Don't get your hopes up. Yeah. So I had work experience today and I had a shit ton of work to do. So naturally, I laid in bed and didn't do it. Yeah. So today I'm back. I'm filming a haul because uh, we've just had August. So this will be August's collective haul because I don't think I've shown any of these products. Um, most of them I got recently because I just got paid and we've been on little days out and stuff so I've been able to buy some more things. So yeah, also I forgot my hair's green, woohoo, exciting stuff. So I had my hair done about two weeks ago now, um, so I'm finally at the colour that I wanted to be and it's already started growing out which is great. Um, I just have it up because like I said I've been out of work experience and doing shit. So <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm really happy with the colour, I love it, it was done at Rush Salon, Rush Studio, I don't know, the hair salon is called Rush and it was done by Danny who is incredible with colour, so if you are in the Southampton area and you want some sick colour then check Rush out, I will link them below. Um, yeah, it took three sessions to get this colour from black to green and I'm so happy with it. I think I'm going to go a little bit darker eventually, still green, but a darker green. But I think this time I'm going to use a Manic Panic dye, I don't remember the name, I feel like it's Envy something, Green Envy. I'm not entirely sure but it's really cute so I might do that, but I'm going to keep this for a while because I paid a lot of money for this. So, on with the haul, um, I'm going to start off with makeup I think and we will just go through. <laughs> got three new NYX products and I bought these in Winchester because that is my local stand. I used to get NYX in Southampton but it never happened because I don't know, life hates me, I, I don't really know why. But we never got NYX in Southampton so whenever I go to Winchester I always grab some stuff. So I bought two of the NYX Vivid Brights um, liquid eyeliners and I bought the orange one and the green one. Um, the orange one is, is that what it's called? Uh, Vivid Delight and this one is Vivid Envy and they're just like little Halloween colours and I love it. So yeah, they're pretty good. I already have the red one and the white one in this, so now I have some more. Eventually I'm going to get them all because they're all kind of cute. Um, they were £5.50 each and then I bought this highlighter that I've been wanting for ages. It's the Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder in the shade Twilight Tint. So it's kind of hard to see but it looks kind of white and then when you oh my goodness when you swatch it it's got like a purpley tint hence twilight tint i'm wearing it today don't know how well you'll be able to see it but i really really like it i have a feeling this was nine pounds i'm pretty sure it was and it wasn't even the shade that i wanted i wanted the proper white one i think it's like ice something but they didn't have it so i bought this instead um and next up for makeup, I have a couple of cheaper bits. Um, so the first one is an eyeliner which I bought today. It's Essence's Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. This was two pounds from Wilco's. Uh, the tip is good. You can do really thin lines with it. It's pigmented. However, when you have it on over your eyes, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. Um, Lay it over eyeshadow. It tends to be a little bit um, see throughy. So it's not super pigmented, but like I said, it was only two pounds. Usually I would use Kat Von D's tattoo liner, but I've run out and I could not afford a new one. So it's this until my student loan drops and then I can buy my normal makeup. Oh, I'm actually really hurt. Next I have, this is a replacement, a repurchase. Um, I use Freedom's Eyebrow Pomade in Granite, which comes in a little tub like this. Um, this is £5 and I ran out, so I've just bought a new one. Um, I really, really like it. It's a dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. 
Um, so for five pounds, it's pretty good, and it's quite different. Good times. I also bought another highlighter, and I told myself I wasn't going to do this and buy another rainbow highlighter because they're never good enough. They don't work properly. But then I saw it, and it was four ninety nine. I was like, Fuck! How can I not? So this is from, I believe it's called, uh, yeah, I Heart Makeup. Um, comes in this little box. It's the Unicorn Heart highlighter. It says it's made by Unicorn, so how could I not? And it comes, I'm really worried this is going to fall out. Okay, I think I'm So it comes in this little thing. It's similar to Too Faced's um, highlighters. And you open it up, and it looks like this, and it's just so fucking gorgeous. I don't think you can use it um, separately. Let me see. Oh, you can! That's pretty incredible. Okay, so on my thumb along there, I have swatched the the red, the green, and the purple, so you could do it separately if need be, or you can just get a load of all of them um, and swatch it in one. So this is just a very open highlight. There you go. Um, yeah, so for 4 99 pretty good. I do believe it's cruelty free, which is even better, but even just to look at it is pretty cool. So yeah, I haven't actually used it on my face yet, but I definitely will because it's very cute. Um, and that is available at Superdrug, not Boots. Right, the only other makeup product I have is from Soap and Glory, and this is their Bright and Pearly Radiance Boosting Cocktail. This smells so fucking good. So, Soap and Glory's products always smell good anyway, but this smells fresh and fruity and similar to the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday perfume. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Um, it makes my primer and my foundation seem to go on better. Um, I wouldn't say it necessarily brightens the skin, but I do really like it, so I can use that. I believe this was £11, but I'm not entirely sure. For skincare and body and hair, stuff like that, I'm going to chuck it all in one category because, you know, it's just not makeup, is it? It's just not that exciting. So, my new absolute skincare favourite of my whole entire life is from The Body Shop. This is the Chamomile uh, Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. Um, so it's suitable for sensitive skin. It's their sensitive range. I don't think they have a great deal of products in this range. I don't remember what else is in there, but I'm pretty sure it's only another two or three products. Um, so basically what you do with this is when you're ready to take your makeup off at night, you um, it's like a waxy type thing, put it on your hands, rub it all onto your face, and then use I use a hot cloth to rinse it all off, pat it dry, and then I just chuck my moisturiser off, and that's pretty much me done because I'm a lazy bastard. It doesn't smell super strong of anything, like I said it's for sensitive skin so it's not overloaded with shit. It just smells really fresh, and I've gone through <laughs> so much. So it's £10 for the tin. Um, and I've had this for over a month now. Um, I probably use too much, but um, so I've hit pan in the middle, but there's still loads left. But oh my god, I could not recommend this enough. I first saw this on Belle Jordan's video, I think it was her skincare routine, and I was like, oh, I'll give it a go because she said, you know, it removes everything like makeup, it removes waterproof mascara, it removes glitter, and I was like, how good could it be? And it is fucking good, so I recommend that. And the best part is, is that it's cruelty free because of Body Shop. And when you go to Body Shop, sign their petition to make, um, to ban testing. Sign it, do it. Tell them I sent you, or don't, because they won't know who I am. <laughs> um, my little sister made my mum sign this. Pretty happy about that. Go over to Casey and go over to mum. So, that is that. Ooh, one little bit there. Um, the next thing I have from the Body Shop is the Rainforest Radiance Shampoo for Coloured Hair. And what is so good about this is that it has no sulfates in it, no silicone, sulfates, colourants, or parabens. Uh, they, that may sound like a mouthful, an absolute mouthful, but it's the sulfates in a shampoo that A, make the shampoo bubbly and all. Um, yeah, so it doesn't bubble as much as a normal shampoo, but it is also the sulfates that strip your hair of the colour. So that is why when you have a bright colour, it doesn't last very long because regular shampoos include sulfates. So this is good to maintain the colour of your hair. Obviously, it's not going to 100% keep it and it's never going to wash out. Nothing can do that. I wish it could. But this is going to prolong the life of your coloured hair. So I recommend this. It's only £5, which is pretty good. Smells very, you know, natural and a little bit fruity. Everything I described is fruity. I think it has black currants in it. Looks like it has black currants in it. I don't know, but 
it's nice. They also have a conditioner, but I didn't buy it because nothing would be my conditioner that I have at the moment. But I'm not going to promote it because it's not quarter free and I'm not that much. So, five pounds. Um, the last two things. Oh my god, I sound like from that advert. This dress, five pounds. These shoes, five pounds. That's everything, five pounds.com. It's a hilarious advert. Um, right, the last two I have for this category. This is a toothpaste. It's a Pearl Drops White Sparkle Toothpaste. Um, I was reading Cosmo when I was in the salon and it had a whole article on tooth whitening, teeth whitening toothpastes. Fuck my life, that was hard to say. And it had five or six different ones and it was given, you know, the comments and the positives and negatives of all different toothpaste and it said that this was the editor's pick this was the best one this had the best results so I was like fuck it I'll give it a go I've only been using it for a few days so I'm not going to comment on how well it's doing yet but as the toothpaste goes it's pretty nice the last thing in this category is body fantasy signature twilight mist body spray so I bought this from Superdrug for two pounds it just smells so good. I don't know if you guys ever had these, but when I was a child, there was these big, um, like, bouncy balls, not like a tiny one, like, like a football size, and they had different, um, so there were different colours, and the colours corresponded to the fruits. So you had, like, Miss Cherry, Mr. Grape. This fucking smells like Mr. Grape, and it's so good. Mr. Grape was my favourite as a child, so as soon as I smelled it, I was like, damn, I'm buying that. So thank you, Casey, for letting me smell your Mr. Grape, because now I have my own Mr. Grape. Right, the next category is glitter. Holy shit, I have so much glitter this month. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is this huge glitter palette. Um, so, these are glitter eye creams. Um, they're not going to be that amazing on their own, but to layer more glitter over is going to be sick. So, this is the Glitter Obsessed Eye Cream Palette from Primark. Holy fuck, look at all the different colours of glitter so good and this was only four pounds so at the moment these glitters are untouched they're ready to be used um i will do a swatch of one um let's go for this green here so like i said it's not going to be the most amazingly pigmented thing but you know that's pretty good for one little swipe of glitter i've still got some on there and then so you could lay that down and then use it to adhere more glitter so this probably would have been really good for the festival season. I don't know when they brought it out, but I only recently saw it, so maybe be a little bit better with your time in Primark, but I'm so excited to use this. I'm so fucking excited, I love glitter. And then the next thing is, so we have this store, I'm pretty sure it's just in the UK, but I don't know, it's called The Works. It's just a craft store, basically. And so they sell loads and loads of stuff. And I got all of these glitters, <laughs> I'm not here to show you, all of these little jars of glitters for £1. So there's eight jars and they look like this, this is the purple one. Um, so they're like chunky glitter, it's not like tiny tiny craft glitter, this is like properly chunky glitter in a little glass bottle with a cork in the top. So A, they look cute and B, the glitter's really good. So you get red, yellow, green, two types of blue, purple, silver, and like a white shimmery one. Oh my god, I love these so much. So like I said, it was a pound for eight, and then I've got loads here, so I'm ready for loads of glittery looks. So I can layer these over the other ones, and it's gonna be a good time all around. I'm trying to zoom through this because there's a lot here. Okay, right, I bought this yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but I tried it on in store and loved it, and this is a black, what do I even define this as? So this is like a PVC style black mini skirt. Um, it's slightly high-waisted, um, and it has a silver zip at the back, and I just thought it was just the cutest little skirt. It was eight pounds. Um, this was just such a staple piece. Like I could wear this with like a blouse. I could wear it with like a bralette and a sheer top over the top. I can dress it up, dress it down. It's just really, really cute. And I am, I am a very skirt person. I'm more of a skirt and dress person as opposed to like trousers and stuff like that. I think I own like one pair of jeans and that's it. I have a couple of pairs of jeans, but yeah. So this is like a staple piece and it's very autumn winter. So yeah very excited. Right, shoes. I have two pairs of shoes to show you. The first, again, are from Primark. These were £10 and these are um, like knockoffs or dupes for the Valentino Rockstuds, if you know what they are. Um, 
these are just so fucking cute. So they're like a black suede type thing, pointed shoe with this crisscrossy detailing here with gold studs and pearls on, and then they just do up at the side. Um, I wear these to work, I wear these just to run errands, um, if I'm going shopping, and they're just like a slightly more interesting pair of flats. So I really, really like those. And <laughs> these next shoes I'm going to show you, I feel like 95% of my channel is going to be like, I've never been a sneaker person or trainer person or anything like that. I think I had I had one pair of Converse that my mum bought me um, like seven or eight years ago and I've only just worn those out. Um, so they're in the bin now. Um, other than that, I had a pair of white vans my dad bought me for Christmas once when I thought I was like really cool. That's it really, I'm not really a trainer person. Oh, I have my pair for the gym. Um, that's it, I don't really wear trainers, but I really have been wanting a pair of baby pink shoes like baby pink trainers, I just think they'd be so cute and I have this like baby pink fluffy coat that I like to wear and I thought they'd be cute to go with it so by the off chance yesterday I went into shoe with Jake after we'd eaten and I was like I'll just have a look around see what I can find and I found these and they were like the last pair and I was like I need those shoes, I'm not leaving without them and it turns out these are from like the guys section because the smallest size they start in is a 7 now luckily I'm a 6 so I could fit these shoes, they fit, they're comfy but yeah, how cute are these baby pink old style Reebok shoes? Even like this, whatever this bit's called, this bottom bit, it's pink. Everything is pink. There's not one other colour on there. I am so in love with these. They look fucking massive. Like I have big feet. Don't judge me. And it's not even like I'm tall. Like I'm five foot four and a half. I should have small feet. But no, I have both feet, so. Yeah, so these are just so cute. I'm literally in love with these shoes. I would marry these shoes if I could. Yeah, I love these shoes. They're so cool. And maybe you think I'm a dirty chav now, I own a pair of Reeboks. Maybe you think, wow, you basic bitch. Get off of YouTube, throw away your golf stuff. But no, I am just, I don't know. Sometimes I wanna wear pink. There we are, they're cute, I love them. Those were 70 pounds, but with a student discount. They were £63. Uh, if anyone's interested, they are the Reebok Club C85, I don't know, pink leather. That, if I can find them online, I'll link them if anyone's interested. Right, now onto the last part of the video, and this is the hella cool shit that I've picked up. I've been saving the best for last. I'm so fucking excited about these things. So, over the course of this month, I've picked up some really exciting, like, one-of-a-kind things that is going to be difficult to find anywhere else. Pumpkin's now suddenly really interested in the stuff I'm holding, so she may make an appearance. But the first thing is this necklace, and it's a it's on a black chain, and so it's got a black cat. I'm really sorry about the reflection of the ring light. It has a little black cat's face inside this thing, and it's got little black ears. I just think it's so adorable, and it reminds me of Pumpkin, because it's black and big greeny yellow eyes, so whenever I wear it, I always think of Pumpkin, so yeah. That is super cute. This cost me £4 and I bought this from Pagan Pride, uh, which I did try to vlog so I may post that um, in a separate video. And then, oh my god, this is. This cost £35, it was worth every fucking penny. So it's on a black headband, it has these black roses up here, it has these pentagrams stitched on, if you can see those. It has this chain going on with this piece huge curly horns like I feel like Maleficent when I wear this this is just fucking gorgeous so if I can find the seller I will list it below I'm pretty sure it's like gothic hats or something but I will definitely google it so I can um, link it below for you guys like is this not just the coolest headpiece you've ever seen in your life as you can tell there's one up there I fucking love headpieces and now I have two to my collection and it's just exquisite so yeah I'm in love with this headpiece this is definitely going to feature in like a million more videos the last thing I have to show you pumpkin please don't fall off my lap I bought in an antique store on the Isle of Wight and it was in the town called Shanklin I don't remember the store um, but there's like a million antique stores there um, this cost me £30 and it's worth every fucking penny this old it's either 40s or 50s the guy wasn't entirely sure creepy ass doll so as you can see up close on her face she's 
pretty broken, she's pretty bashed up, her eyes like close, you can see that when you tilt her upside down, so she still works, she just looks like she's haunted as fuck, um, you can see under her arm there's bits chipped away, and the more broken and creepy looking a doll is, the more I love it. I don't like this weird taffy bracelet that's on her arm though, so I'm going to be cutting that off. And the, this ribbon was put around her neck to make her more <laughs> sellable, apparently, so that's going to be going too. But I freaking love this. I mean, how cool is that? How often do you see something like this? I've been wanting like a creepy broken doll for so long, so now I have one. She's so cute, poor Heath, I'm not really sure. But, um, so this is going to be featuring in some photos I'll be taking and I need to find him or her a nice little space in my home where Pumpkin will not attack because I feel like she will. But doesn't it just look like a conduit? Like, I'm going to be so disappointed if this fucker isn't haunted. Like, I'm going to be so mad. So yeah, this is my creepy baby. That is everything to show you this month. I'm so sorry if this video is long. I apologise. My camera's literally about to die so I'm going to wrap this video up quick. If you would like to follow me on social media I'll be posting the links below. I'm most active on Snapchat if you want to follow me there. It is a Dixie Plum Pixie which is all right here. Definitely add me on there. I've been chatting to a few of you guys and you're all so lovely. So yeah if you want to have a chat add me on Snapchat. If you have any suggestions for videos please comment them down below and let me know what the coolest thing was that you saw in this video. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again next time. I'm Pumpkin, say goodbye. Goodbye! Bye! Where's those tiny beans? <laughs>